Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the studio. Now you can't do the ball. Cut the music. Hey, what the hell does that mean? Damn YouTube, stupid crap. What's up? What the? It's your boy, Lion Adam. Live in a living color with Awesome Sauce Comics episode 10. We're back again. That's right. Awesome sauce! Testify! Testify! Well, 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 um, I would like to thank, um, everyone who, uh, came out last Saturday, May 2nd, to, uh, the, uh, Cityplex 12 movie theater and supported Awesome Sauce Comics, New Jersey Comic Expo, um, had a great time at the Avengers uh, event that New Jersey Comic Expo held. Um, you know, anyone who bought something, thank you. Everyone who said hello, thank you. Had a great time with my boy TJ Money. I'd like to thank uh, Blanky Productions for uh, everything they did. Um, you know, with help with the cosplay and all that. Uh, www.blinkey. P R D U C T I O N S. That's C O M. Uh, Planky Productions puts out awesome fan films, such as I Am Power Girl, Daredevil 1983. Whoops, Daredevil 83. Excuse me, I thought that one, Chris. Uh, you know, he put out uh, the question. Uh, just awesome and amazing fan films. Best fan films on the market. Testify! Testify! If I seem a little uh, subdued today, I'm sorry. Just been having a hard, rough couple days. Um, taking care of some of the behind the scenes stuff with new studio space. Making lots of tough and difficult decisions. Um, you know, plus I'm preparing for the Atlantic City Comic Con, Boardwalk Con. Hang on. 310. Stop recording button. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Um, no, they're not. Um, can I take a message, please? Uh, okay, I'm not the homeowner, so, uh, you know, nope, thank you, have a good day, bye-bye for now, tall fucking marketing self-soliciting pig fuckers, got a call in the middle of my podcast, get off our phones, and it'd be somewhat polite, I didn't know who it was. It could have been our good buddy Jessica calling us back. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? You know, I hope you're having a good, awesome, amazing, and magical day. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you for uh, all the love and support you show my show. Um, we're going to do one sometime next week, and maybe we'll record an episode live in a living color. You can teach me how to make that awesome chicken dish you were talking about. You know, the chicken rolled in the uh, cornflakes with the cheddar cheese. That sounds awesome. Sauce! Uh, you know, uh, but, you know, Chris Donarelli, Blinky Productions, does awesome fan films. I suggest you go to video, www.viemno.com. And watch his stuff. Um, think some of it's up on YouTube. Just awesome and amazing. Uh, Atlantic City Comic Con. www.acdr. 
Ah, oh, fuck. Like, I can fucking... WAKE UP, BRAIN! As I walk to Scores Hat. Scores. West 28th Street. Between 10th and 11th Avenue. Great, great, great strip club in New York City. You know, uh... Google the address. Um... But, uh... May, May 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. www.doacbc.com And, uh... This is going to be the greatest convention on the galaxy, on the planet, on the East Coast. You know, you get a, a phenomenal guest list, starting with the sexiest voice in all of Hollywood. That's right, she has the sexiest voice in all of Hollywood. All of Hollywood. Testify! Testify! Willa Holland, she's Thea Queen on Arrow. She was, at, she was, Agnes Andrews on Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl was an awesome and amazing show. Especially that Blake Lively. Blake Lively's sexy, because I may be blind, but I'm not that fucking blind. But that's another story. She's still not Willa Holland sexy. Willa Holland is sexy as a Blake Lively. I testified! And I will testify! And I will give her, Willa Holland, a special award next Saturday at 1 o'clock when I meet and greet her. And give her a hug. I'm gonna go get a manicure. You know, just for this. Gonna get a trophy made. You know, I didn't know giving sexy actresses awards was so expensive. But that's neither here or there. I just cannot wait to this convention. You got Danielle Pen Pen Danielle Pennemaker. That's it. Wow, I can pronounce stuff now. She's gonna be Saturday there only. Funnel Ops, meet and greets, I think they're like a hundred bucks, but you get to meet the second sexiest woman of all of Hollywood, Daniel Panamaker, she plays Dr. Caitlin, Caitlin Stone in uh, The Flash, um, and if you're a fan of Flash and her arrow, you gotta go to ACBC, you gotta go to Boardwalk County in Atlantic City, testify, awesome sauce, if you're an arrow fan, Willa Holland, who plays Thea. Manu Bennett, who plays Slade Wilson, will be there in attendance. Manu Bennett will be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, you know, Willa Holland will only be there Saturday and Sunday. Um, Tom Cavanaugh, who plays uh, Dr. Harrison Wells, um, will be there Saturday and Sunday. And you know I'm going to go to that meet and greet because I want to shake his hand. Get an autograph. Get set inside. Maybe get a photo taken. Um, you know, uh, and then you got Dr. You know Daniel Pennebaker. Going to be there Saturday only. She plays Dr. Caitlin Snow. Once again, she's not, she's sexy, but she's still that Willa Holland sexy. Willa, Willa Holland is the sexiest woman of all Hollywood. And if you don't, if you don't know, then you know. Testify! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Ha-ha! Willa Holland is just the sexiest woman of all of Hollywood. You know. And she's gonna... Hey, the way I see it... Is... In... No, is it... Mm, I may have to rewatch the episode. But the end of last, week, uh, uh, last week's episode... When, uh, Felicity... Now, like I said... Emma Rebecca, however you pronounce her last name, is sexy. And I know everyone out there in the nerd Arrow Flash community is like, says that Emma, however you pronounce her name, who plays Felicity, is the sexiest woman on the show. Uh -uh! It's Willa Holland. Willa Holland was the sexiest woman in the OC back in the day. She is sexy in the Gossip Girl. She's the sexiest woman in, in all the DC television universe, and if you don't like it, bite me. Testify! 201-675-2104 if you want to testify against me. Our comic C-O-M-I-C-P-I-M-P-V-I-P at Gmail. You know, I'm going to get, she's going to get a special award on Saturday, the Golden Retriever Award, which is voted by the blind community. And when I say the blind community, I mean myself. You know, I had my own podcast. I'm doing this. It's my monkey show. 
And I'm gonna give her the Golden Retriever Award. Which I should have by tomorrow. You know. And it's gonna be awesome sauce. You know, I really think the character was supposed to be near Durden all along. I mean, there's been many clues. Um, you know, Moya's maiden name was Durden. Um, you know, uh, her nickname was Speedy since episode one. You know, Green Arrow number 44 was the issue where Mia Durden becomes Speedy. She has a speculator bombshell. Pick it up and make the money, 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 money. But I, I really do see uh, Thea going to rescue Roy. And she's going to be the one who eventually breaks Oliver Queen out of the spell that he's under through the race of Ghoul. And it's going to wreak a boss on us. I cannot wait for the finale. Um, and it's like I eventually think that Eddie Thong is going to become the Hunter's Own version of uh, the Reaper's Flash. You know, because basically, you know, Ebert Thong, Harrison Wells, said that Eddie was his insurance policy. You know, but I also think that once Iris knows that Barry is the Flash, which it looks like she does now, um, you know, uh, just amazing. And speaking of all our, all, all our, now I'll do that after I'm done, but you got Kevin Smith, Jason Mewes, all the comic book men, and I'm going to be going to the secret stash, maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday, now that my, my plans have changed. I'm going to go visit Ming and Mike and Brian and Walt. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to force Ming to like, help me shop and be a seeing eye dog. Maybe I'll have to be a seeing eye dog at Atlantic City Con. You know, we'll put a harness on him. We'll go doo 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 doo. But I'm so excited for Kevin Smith. You got Stan the Man Lee. He's going to be there all weekend long. Sign autographs, the living legend, Mr. and Mrs. Cosplay USA, Geek, the Geek Film Fest, uh, then you got Charles Fleischer, who was Roger Rabbit, he was also the Crypt Keeper, you know, you have Josh Kenny, who was the voice of Spider-Man in the Spectacular Spider-Man, and Hal Jordan in Green Lantern, you know, uh, poor guy. Keeps on getting the cartoons that get canceled because the networks want something better. Dumbasses. You know? You know? Another DC Nation. Another another awesome thing that 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 that, that ejaculated way too early. Young Justice, great cartoon. Uh, Green Lantern, great cartoon. No. But you had to, but Cartoon Network had to replace it with that piece of crap you wear the Batman. What's up with that? Yeah, I said it. Beware the Batman was craptacular. I said it. But Atlantic City Comic Con, www.doacbc.com. It's just amazing and magical. And it's just so awesome. I cannot wait. Next weekend, it looks like I'll be staying at the Sheraton. Uh, I've been trying to find a cheaper place, but cheap places in the uh, AC for the weekend are kind of, you know, weird and w weird and crazy. Um, Stop recording. Cancel button. Fourteen oh nine. Ah, shut up, Jaws. Trying to do a podcast here. Talking about the ACBC con. Boardwalk Con with Stan Lee and Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes and the sexiest voice in all of Hollywood, Laura Holland herself. And I cannot wait, and we're going to test the fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to reek of awesomeness. Um, but, you know, May 14th, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., I'm going to have to drink lots of Red Bull and Moe's Flaming Energy Drinks and all sorts of other good stuff to keep me awake. Eat candy bars. Um, but like I said, just awesome and amazing. Uh, now I want to show you all something I got over the weekend. This is really weird. I'm not going to eat them because I can't eat up in the studio. Can I put them in the bag? Open sesame! Open sesame! Open sesame! Open sesame! Ow. 
Yabba dabba doo! Fuck you! Yabba dabba doo! Fred Flintstone getting pimped out! He's, you know, got the Flintstone vitamins, which are awesome. You got cocoa pebbles, fruity pebbles. Now this, this is a box of limited edition candy corn flavored fruity pebbles. I don't know why they needed candy corn flavored fruity pebbles, but they're here. I mean, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to eat a box of, when, I, when I'm in a spot in the house, in the studio, where I'm, where I'm allowed to actually eat food and shit, I'll do a review of these for you all. They sound disgusting, these probably are disgusting, but I'll show you that again. It was the great, art, art, great artwork on these boxes. Punch Jones is a great cartoon. If you can, YouTube... The, uh, maybe I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Quit smoking, quit smoking, quit smoking, when smoking was cool. Which, you know, hey, if you don't think that smoking cigarettes is bad for you, then, you know, go ahead and try it and see what happens. But, you know, just don't smoke. Smoking bad, you know, drinking soda pop, good. Testify! Testify! But, like I said, or eating a box of disgusting candy. Candy corn flavored fruity pebbles, good. So I'm gonna play these ads, and I'm gonna go get me some water. More action. Three Flintstones with some cigarettes commercials. Two hundred. Video player. Video is loading. Heading. so hard. 
Player. Thanks, player. Ah, we're back. All right. Tell Mark and scumbags. Can't believe they call our podcast. But. I just want to say that the Avengers Age of Ultron was a great movie. Uh, I'm just going to say, without spoiling too much, it was awesome. So, you know, I'm just going to say that my, my three of my favorite scenes were... The next, I'm going to wait the next week because I want to see it one more time before I do a full review. But... The way they betray Ultron was amazing. Alright. Ah, fuck it. We're going to spoil some of this anyways. Don't want you all to think I got soft. But, uh, the way we do Ultron is just phenomenal. Uh, you know, uh, the scene at the, you know, when they first introduce Ultron and he just takes out Jarvis, just amazing and awesome. What they did with, with with the way they introduced the Vision and the whole scene between Tony Stark and Bruce Banner and their and Stark is just like the we, you they already view us as monsters. I am a monster. You're a monster. And they create the Vision. Just amazing. I like the way they they played the Vision. Um, all the scene and I don't understand why the Vision was the one who was worthy enough to lift Thor's hammer. Um, the scene with everyone trying to lift the hammer was funny as heck. Um, I really, really liked um, the portrayal of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Now, if anyone can clarify, did Quicksilver actually die, or did he just get shot? You know, I wish I saw this in audio descriptive. For you, those of you who don't know, Audio descriptive is uh, something that will describe all the visual stuff that's going on in the movie theater, movie theater for someone who's blind and visually impaired. Hey, Frankie, I love you, but City 12, City Plus 12 needs to get audio descriptive for blind consumers. Testify! Testify! Um, all these scenes between the Hulk and the Black Widow, especially the scene where he, Bruce just wants to run away, and, uh, you know, she turns him into the Hulk and be like, I need the other guy. You know, um, Hawk, can, when the Hawkeye have a farm? When the Hawkeye have all that stuff? Cancel button. I mean, I didn't get that, but I kind of liked the way at the end, you know, Tony's like, well, maybe Pepper will want a farm too. 
and he goes off to build it. I have a feeling that, you know, all the Thor stuff will uh, either take place in either Civil War, or, uh, you know, which is Cap 3, or Thor 3 Ragnarok. Um, you know, the Scarlet Witch giving everyone the Visions thing was cool. Uh, Baron Von Strucker was pretty sweet. Um, maybe we'll see more of Baron Von Strucker and uh, Agent Carter next season. Um, just awesome and amazing stuff. You know, uh, you know, I, I really, really love this. I give this movie five pin slaps. It's awesome. So, you know, and the, the ending credit scenes with Thanos, you know, so I guess everyone else was just his lackey up to this point. Thanos is going to take it on himself. Just sweet. Just amazing. Um, I'm not sure if he'll be in Guardians 2. Um, but just, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, um, uh, all the character, I really liked a lot more of the character stuff than I did the action. And I do have one question for everyone living in Ramsey, New Jersey. Ramsey Cinema, Ramsey Theater. Great theater, great place to go see a movie if you're local and you don't want to drive or slush around. You can take it down at 125 East Main Street, Ramsey, New Jersey, 07446-201-825-2090. Why is it during from Monday to Thursday, you just have the one fucking screening of a movie at 7 o'clock at night? What's up with that? I mean, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you got your 115, your 4 something, your 7 something. Cool. But during Monday to Thursday, that's all you have is your damn one night showing. Why? Why, 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 why? I mean, Avengers is playing, Age of Ultron is playing there right now if you don't want to go see it in your fantasy. Um, but, uh, I really enjoyed it, you know? Maybe we'll get Ultron coming back one day. You know, you got two more Avengers movies after this, and who knows, maybe Thanos will, uh, put together a supervillain army. Maybe we'll get Thanos, you know, Ultron, Red Skull, Loki, and what happened to that Loki cameo that was supposed to be in here? Uh, Samuel Jackson... You know, you don't fuck with Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel Jackson is the man. Him, him being around his Nick Fury and giving the pep talk at the end, which is awesome, you know, in that middle, was just awesome and amazing. Go see it. I'm not going to spoil it not any more than I already have. Just go see it. Awesome. So I wish I had some words to my sponsor right now. You. Three and three Wi-Fi. Status bar item. Tuesday, May 5th. Tuesday, May 5th. 2.15 p.m. Unlock. Button. Unlock. Replay. Button. Video player. Video player. Pause and collapse video. Flintstone cigarette commercial. Result. Refine. Playlist. Channels. Selected. Search. Button. Text field. It's clear search. But voice search. Button. Junk call a commercial. Back, back, but refine. Results. Funny chocolate commercial. 200. More action. Audrey Hepburn. Galaxy chocolate commercial. 800. More action. Sainsbury's official Christmas 2014 app. More action. Dope chocolate commercial. Sensor. More action. Funny chocolate commercial series. Japan. More. Funny chocolate commercial. The look. More action. Cadbury eyebrows. Official version. 11. More actions. YouTube. Heading. Back. YouTube. Back. More actions. Cadbury Ops. More actions. Funny chocolate channel. Selected. Search. Button. Text field. Clear search. Voice search. Button. Voice search. Bobby Darren, the nature boy. Refine. Results. Bobby Darren, nature boy. 19,377. More action. Bobby Darren, nature boy. WMV. 4,630. More action. Bobby Darren, nature boy. Lyrics on screen. 12,205 views. Simple. Yay! Lyrics on screen that I can't fucking see! Thank you.
Very far. He wandered. He walked around. He just went to go get girls and pizza pies and he wandered. I don't know if this is the version I heard in the car, though. I'm trying to figure it out. Yep. Things are up. The business is about to pick up. Just a fair? That's just two lovers. Alright, they're gonna probably get a hotel room and go boom, shaka laka, boom, shaka laka, boom, shaka laka, boom. That's he's Woo! Shaka la 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 la. This is, uh, Nature Boy by Bobby Darren with shaka la la la. I don't think this is the version I wanted. Video player, pause and collapse video. Bobby Darren, nature with playlist, button, refine, but playlist channel, selected, search, selected channels, but playlist, button, refine, button, results. Bobby Darren, nature boy, 19,000. This might be the right one. Playing advertisement. Video player. Heading. How to eat things and actually get smart. That can now you get that. Yeah, right, I'm skipping the fucking ass. Video player. Heading. The nature boy! I'm gonna check this boy. He's gonna get the pussy. That's a pizza pie. And Atlantic City Kamakai, which will be off cheese chain. As I'm eating pizza with Stan Lee in the VIP lounge. Because that's what we're gonna do, because we're the nature boy! Sha la 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 la! Yeah, my eyes are wide, yo! Maybe that's how he gets the girls, he just has those wide puppy dog eyes and shit. I don't think this is the version that was on this. Video player, pause and collapse video. TJ Money, if you can think, tell, tell me the exact version of the Nature Boy by Bobby Darren that we listened to on the car ride the other day, please call into the show at 201-675-2104 and leave a message and return the call. I left you to you before anyways. But that's the Nature Boy by Bobby Darren. And speaking of cool events happening this weekend in pop culture goodness, woo! Where's the world, Philly? Um... Philadelphia Convention Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, May 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. Can't believe it's May already. Years going by so fast. Um, but an amazing guest list. Burt Reynolds, you know, that's Burt Reynolds. Smokey and the Bandit. Then you got Stephen O'Mell, The Arrow, Katie Cassidy, uh, Laurel Lance. Lance. You got Summer Glau. Nathan Phillip for you Firefly fans. Uh, Lou Ferrigno. Um, there's a couple of wrestlers. Paige. She's still even a diva at this point, but... Where's the Wild Philly? I'm going to be there. Hopefully. I'm going to try to get an interview with Stephen O'Mell for the show. You know? He's on my, my cast of dream interviews. Oh, yeah, yeah, and... I have vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. Kevin Conroy will be there. I'm going to try to interview him as well. It's going to be awesome. So it may not be the convention of the summer, like like, like Boardwalk Con, but it's Wizard World. Wizard World is like the CSI at comic book conventions. They're going to be called Wizard World Kalamazoo, Wizard World Fuck You in Alaska. You know, because Wizard World is everywhere. It's Wizard World. Like, who cares and shit? You get that for the celebrities. You get some autographs. You go, bah, 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 bah. 
Hopefully I get to meet Stevie Lamell, the Arrow, and Casey Jones. She's going to be Casey Jones in the TMNT sequel. With, you know, Michael Bay. Kits! Explosions! Michael Bay goodness. You know, uh, she'd be awesome and fun. Um, but just, you know, in... Stop recording, but... Ah, shut up, shut up, shut up already. You know, comic book of the week for me will be Secret Wars number one. Marvel's new crossover summer event. Should have new studio space soon. Um, you know, can't wait for next weekend for Atlantic City Comic Con. This weekend, hopefully, I'll be at Wizard World Philly. Just, it's a great time to be a comic book fan. I love you all. I thank you all for being a loving family. Thank you all for supporting the show. One foot in the goal. One fist. Duh. One foot in the gutter. One fist in the cold. One fist in the gold. Too hot to handle, cold, too cold to hold. Blind out in the comic book. Out! Peace! 30 cents. Stop recording, but enter.